Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. I am so excited to have you guys here today. <laughs> First and foremost, we are, <laughs> hello also. First and foremost, we are here in the loft area. I've actually never filmed up here, but I figured this is the perfect spot to film because we're gonna be getting into some home decor. I have quite a few things that I purchased during this quarantine that I've slightly shown to you guys a little bit on stories, but I always get questions on all these items and I figured I'd rather do a whole video, share with you guys where they're from, talk a little bit more about them, a little bit more about my style, as well as include some other favorites that I recently have purchased. I haven't been doing too much online shopping. Like I'm not shopping for clothes or anything at the moment. A lot of my stuff is just home things because I'm here so much. I'm also trying to furnish my house as well. So I'm filling in little corners little by little. But these are really, really cute things that I think you guys are really going to like. If you guys follow me on Pinterest, you'll know that my vibes are kind of like what you guys see right now. It's very neutral, very cozy, very airy. Not boho, but not coastal. Eventually, I plan on giving you guys a furnished house tour, but since we're still in the process of furnishing it and we're nowhere near being done, I haven't done the video yet. For now, I figured I'd show you guys little pieces and items that I'm really loving, just things that I'm into. If you guys like what you are seeing, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up before we start also be sure to subscribe hit that notification bell so you can be notified when my videos go live and without further ado do let's go ahead and get into today's video all right so i'm going to try to work kind of fast because the sun is going down and once the sun is gone this is going to turn completely pitch black and the whole the whole look of this is going to change so bear with me if i'm talking really really fast also i plan on filming like waist up and i decided last minute let's just move into the couch so Please disregard my entire outfit right now. So the first item we're getting to is for your kitchen and this one right here is one that I get questions about all the time and it is these food storage containers. Now these are from Amazon and they come in a pack of four. So not only are these aesthetically really pretty, but they're also eco-friendly and biodegradable and BPA free. So there's a ton of benefits by having these. Now I didn't grow up on nice containers like this. I grew up on the old school Tupperware, not even Tupperware, just like the wannabe Tupperware. They get all stained, the tapaderas get all nasty. I decided to go with these for many reasons. So first of all, they are biodegradable, BPA free, and they're eco-friendly. The glass on here is super safe to use inside of the dishwasher, inside of the microwave in the freezer in the oven the top on this is made out of bamboo but the lid literally seals it so tight that your food stays super super fresh for a really long time um i just thought these were really nice like look how pretty they look imagine like your food in here your leftovers your meal prep whatever you're eating i just thought they were really nice and like a nice way to definitely elevate the storage area of the house so that is the first one on today's all right, so the next ones are going to be these coasters. These are a must, especially if you host a lot in your house. Um, prior to lockdown, we were always hosting parties, always hosting friends, um, events and gatherings at the house. And when you have people over all the time, or even ourselves, there's always drinks flowing around. And in the past, we have had furniture get ruined from the water stains from drinks. So these, as you guys know, just kind of prevent the water from running down. So these right here are from Shopitana. It's a small business on Instagram, and she imports all her items from Bali. Gives me a tropical summer vibe and these are perfect for outside when we're having our palomas, our micheladas, our cantaritos, whatever we're drinking, it just creates a whole summer vibe. So I bought these because I wanted to support her business, but I also thought they were super cute as well. And then the other coasters I got are from Crate and Barrel. I believe these were about $9. Um, they come in a pack of four and these are really nice because they're made out of like a ceramic and they're super super cold and heavy and what i've noticed is whenever i put like an ice drink on here my ice drink doesn't really sweat as much and i feel like this really keeps the drink super cold so i really like these i like the vibe of them too i think they go really nicely with the house because we do have like a lot of gray in the house but i thought these were a nice way to change up the colors just because i have a lot of neutral whites and tans in the house um so these are a must they really really come in handy so always have coasters on you next up is is this super cute salad bowl that I got from home goods this was ten dollars and I couldn't pass on it because it was super nice I thought it was ceramic at first but it's actually made out of bamboo it came with the spoons in here as well which is a plus I thought it went aesthetically really pretty with the kitchen I feel like home goods is such a hit or miss there's times where I go and I find so many good things and there's times where there's nothing so this was just one of those days that I found this bowl and I couldn't pass on it but I love it if you guys see it definitely pick it up I think you'll really like it me and Sebastian are talking about how I moved to the couch area because I originally was somewhere else but I felt like I wanted to be sitting down for this and be a little bit more like on the vibey vibes the vibe side next I got some more storage containers from you guys and these are from Zara home I don't know if you guys have ever shopped on Zara home but if you haven't definitely check it out they have so many cute items for your house bathroom kitchen garden bathroom bedroom anything but these were so cute I also could not pass on them because I needed something to hold my chiles my flax seeds my hemp seeds and more I ended up purchasing quite a lot because I had a lot of things that were just in plastic containers that I get from the store like you know when you go and you 
by Chiles and they come in like the, the plastic little bags. I wanted to get rid of them. So I found this and really, really liked how they look. This also really seals it so they won't get dry in there and I love them. I think they look aesthetically really pretty. But yeah, I love these to store food throughout the house. Like if you got granola, if you got seeds, uh, powdered sugar, brown sugar, anywhere where you just want to kind of reduce the plastic use and put it somewhere else. I think that you will love the glass containers. They look really pretty. Um, it also kind of like elevates your pantry area and makes it look just super organized and put together. And I actually got the idea of storing everything like this from Pinterest as well. I was like, pantry goals, pantry organization ideas. Ways to organize your pantry. But one of the ideas in there was to buy glass containers like this to store these kind of items. So um, this was like a really, really nice purchase. There's definitely more affordable ones too, different styles. If you don't like like the, the brown, you can always switch anything. But I think like the glass looks so pretty. Pretty. So yeah, that's side on these. So now that we tackled all the kitchen items, we're gonna move into the decor side of the house. Um, now these are items that I have spread throughout the house. Some in the kitchen, some in the loft, bedroom, corners. Like they're kind of just everywhere. So keep that in mind because when you guys see everything at, at once, it's gonna look very uh, neutral and kind of just like white and neutral, but that's kind of the vibe of the house. But I have it spread out everywhere that it doesn't really feel like that. You know what I mean? You guys will see the day that I gave you the house tour. All right, so the first item we're gonna talk about is this beautiful candle that I got from Target. So this is in a collaboration with Studio McGee. Studio McGee is one of my favorite home Instagram accounts. I love their vibe on there. It's really pretty. It's a little bit more traditional, contemporary, um, but I like I like the way they style certain things and the kind of their vibes. So I do have a lot of items from them and I think they have really, really nice stuff. So this is a candle and this one is in the sandalwood tobacco scent. It smells incredible. And I eventually plan on burning this. I haven't burnt it yet because it's so pretty, but when I burn it, I'm eventually gonna keep this for decor use because I feel like you can do so much with it. You can fill it up with like little beads in there or just kind of place it on a book. There's so much you can do with it. Um, but I bought this because like I said, the candle smells good, but the whole decorative piece is really nice as well. And I actually have it on this little coffee table right here. So this is the first item and this one came in different sizes as well. And then another item, part of the Studio McGee X Target collaboration is this little knot. I know this is very random, but it's really nice. Kind of a neutral, matte ceramic marble vibe. Um, they're linked together and this actually looks really pretty on top of a book. I only found one. I wish I would have found more because I really like this and I wanted to add one in another place of the house, but there was only one left. I think almost everything from this collection sold out because it was so cute. But I have it placed on top of this book from Amazon, another neutral. And to break it all apart, I have this little black bowl that I got from an antique shop and I have it placed together like this, just kind of on the coffee table and it looks really nice. I feel like this little charcoal bowl just makes it look so much better. It makes it stand out and believe it or not there, it's kind of got veins of charcoal and tan in here so I feel like by just having it like this it really makes it stand out a little more it's kind of weird to say that but um, I love this little setup right here and then this book is also from Amazon another really really good find Amazon has really really good book this one is called the century of style and it's all the different like home styles there is and all the vibes are in here oh it's so pretty so i bought one of these books and i have it right here on the little coffee table as i was probably my first time ever opening it up to be honest with you guys but i think it looks just so pretty the way it is right here and then i also have these two coffee books that i think are really pretty the first one is homebody by joanna Gaines. if you guys don't know about joanna Gaines, she's everything i just love her entire style that she does for homes like if you guys have ever seen on fixed rapper or have items from her target collection you'll know exactly what i'm talking about but i love this as like a coffee table book and then also the down to earth it's a laid back interior for modern living i just love having these books around for inspiration but they also look really pretty just as coffee table books um, but yeah, this one I believe was Amazon, so was the Homebody book. And then these actually go up on the shelves over here, but I wanted to include them so you guys can see love the different kind of books that I have like laying around. I also picked up these two pillows from Target as well. I saw them on the way out when I was purchasing some of these things. Could not pass on them. I think they're just really nice. I actually have these downstairs in the guest bedroom, but sometimes I'll kind of move them around. As well as all the pillows that you guys see here, they kind of just fly around the house and I change them up all the time if I get bored of them being in a certain area. But these were just really, really cute. I got two of them just because I feel like um, if I wanted to add them onto a chair, if I want to add them to a certain area, and I have two chairs, you know, we'll have two. But they also look really good like on a bed, like placed together and then something in the middle. But these are really cute. Target always is like the plug for home stuff. I feel like a lot of my decor in my house, like little pieces that are around are probably all from Target. So if you guys are ever questioning where something's from, look at Target first. Speaking of Target, I also have this really cute little plant that I thought was so cute. It's actually the sister to my olive tree over here. And this one is also part of the Studio Maggie collaboration. So this one I have uh, placed downstairs in the kitchen. 
kitchen right by the window and it looks pretty because we know I cannot keep plants alive to save my life and I just like the way they look I know olive trees aren't for everybody but I'm a big fan of them I have them like throughout my house um, even in the front yard and backyard also my Pinterest I share a lot of things with olive trees so you'll see that a lot on there but I just thought this was so pretty um, like I said when I give you guys a house tour you guys will see eventually where this is placed at because it's in a nice little corner of the house all right next are these super cute wonky baskets from crate and barrel now I didn't plan on buying any more baskets because I have so many of them throughout the house but I fell in love with the shape of these and the style I actually saw them on Whitney Simmons Instagram but every time she's working out I always see these in her videos and I fell in love with them I did a little research on where they were from so I decided to order myself some and love them it's actually really really big like if you really look at the size of it like my whole damn head it's perfect but this is perfect to add baskets I have this actually placed right downstairs at like the entrance and they look so pretty and I have them right next to each other the way she does as well one thing about crate and barrel is that yes they are pricey like for some other items but their quality is everything I think they kill it on the quality for this being like a wonky basket as they call it I was expecting this to be kind of cheaper in quality but you could tell this is made really really good it even has some type of wires inside to keep the shape in place so I really um, think these are worth it because they're really really nice but yeah great and barrel circling back really quickly to Target because we have two more items from the Studio McGee collection and it is this planter along oh my god this one right here I could not pass on these beautiful planters I thought they were just so nice they were also not that expensive in my opinion this one was 40 and this one was 60 if you guys are familiar with planters you will know that they run in the hundreds sometimes thousands of dollars they are so expensive so to find planters these sizes that are this quality this is not a bad deal I actually went to Target a few weeks ago and did see more of these around so if you guys see them I would definitely pick them up because I think that they are just so so pretty and they just look so beautiful and like a home like really adds like a nice little touch to the house these are a uh, must these are bomb this is actually kind of cute babe so i'm editing my video right now and i realized that i forgot to mention my new comforter set that i got from target so this is a new casa luna collection i got the linen blend comforter set and then i also purchased the linen sheet set and then the euro shams as well and i am so excited about this so um, i got this a few days ago and ended up buying another one which is why you guys see it right here this is going to go down in the guest bedroom because it is that good the linen blend is amazing like the outside of it's linen but the inside is super super soft very comfortable and i'm super happy with it i posted it over the weekend i did a little uh tap to clean on my instagram and a lot of people were wondering where it was from it looks like it's Pottery Barn, but no girl, it is Target, and it is so good. So I just wanna show you guys how the packaging looks, but I'm gonna show you guys the bed right now. All right, just a heads up, it's a little wrinkly right now. I still gotta steam it, so please disregard all the arrugas and wrinkles you guys see on this, but I can tell you guys right now that we've slept in these sheets and in the comforter for the last maybe like four nights and definitely approve them. They're super nice, super comfortable. They say heavy weight, but they actually feel like medium lightweight. They're really, really comfortable. I really like them. Um, if you're somebody who doesn't like the crinkly, lived-in kind of look, then linen probably isn't gonna be your favorite material to go with they do offer like other styles i think they have like a satin and a jersey like cotton finish and whatnot but for me linen just kind of my vibes it's just so comfortable but um as you guys can see it's a linen finish and so is this quilt that i purchased as well from target but the inside of the blanket is like a super super soft cotton i could be wrong but it's extremely extremely soft and very comfortable so we were really impressed with that and the pillows are amazing they're not going to stay there forever like i don't think i want jumbo euro shrimp pillows right there they're probably gonna go in the back eventually and like something else because i do need a little bit of contrast in the future but i really really love them it's taking me a long time to find an actual comforter that i like as i told you guys in the past i've always just done like the down comforters with the duvets on top but i hated it. it was such a struggle that i needed something completely different so i'm extremely happy with this purchase i think you guys should check out the whole line they have it in white natural i think even blush like a rustic a blue a gray um it's overall really good so definitely check it out love it um i also can't wait for you guys to see the update on the room there's going to be a plant there eventually we still need the rug as well we still have some decorating and stuff to do but um i'm loving the way everything's looking so far so this next item is one that isn't really like 
a necessity um, or something I really need to mention, but I do want to mention because it's so cute. It's from Amazon, and if you guys are into picnics, I think you guys will really like this. And on top of that, I was influenced by another influencer to purchase this. She had this in her story, and I thought it was so cute, so you know I swiped up and purchased it. But it is this outdoor picnic tray. I thought it was just so cute uh, for many reasons. One, it's like a little charcuterie board, which is a fancy way for saying the guessel board. You can have all your guessels, your grapes, your crackers, your sandwiches, whatever you're in the mood to eat. And then what I like the most is that it has like the actual leg so you can like set it down on the grass with like a blanket. You don't have to worry about things being knocked over. The food can be elevated and you don't have to worry about anything getting on there. Um, I also really love that it has an area to put your wine glass and your wine bottle. So, so I think this is great to incorporate this in a picnic date with somebody that you love. If you guys purchase this, a heads up, you have to pull this out to bring it down. Nobody told me this and I almost broke it because I was trying to snap it forward. So pull out, then pull down. So the next two items I'm gonna mention in today's haul are from Nike. I know it's not home decor, but it's still a haul, so I wanna incorporate these in here. And it is this running hat. This is the Nike, I believe this is the Legacy Dry Fit. Love this to run, especially with the sun being out and it being hot. This is like the perfect hat to run in. Very lightweight. I use it all the time. If you guys know me, I love to run, and this has been like a lifesaver, as well as this running belt. Now, I am proud to say that I sold this out on Nike.com after sharing it on my stories. Biggest pet peeve is having to carry a backpack because in the backpack, I need my phone, my keys, a water bottle, and for me to be able to really, really run, I don't like having anything on my back. So I was struggling trying to figure out how, where I can put all these items at, and then I found this running belt online. It goes so tight. It has some type of technology in here that allows it to not bounce, so I can can be running like literally sprinting and this does not bounce around i use this every single day when i run and it has been one of the best investments that i purchased i got this on nike.com but i'm sure you can find this on different websites i've also had people uh send me other links for different brands i don't know how good they would be compared to the nike because the nike has that technology that allows us not to like bounce around or whatever but this is so good if you are into running we really love this nike sponsor me these next two items are ones that i actually haven't even used yet which is kind of scary because normally when i do hauls it's things that I've been using, that I'm loving, that I'm super into. But I did want to include these in here because they are pretty cool. And it is like a whole pedicure set. So um, I bought these callus eliminators from Amazon. It's called the Be Natural. Um, it breaks down callus in three to five minutes. These had the best reviews on Amazon. So I feel like you can't go wrong with this. Uh, this one is the Dry Heel Eliminator. So prevents dry cracked heels, which I don't really have it, but I think it came together because I did remember buying this one. So I'm really excited to try these out. And with these, I did also purchase a couple other things that are great for pedicures. So, so with the pedicure, we need these sponges. These are the things that are gonna scrub everything off. So I got these, they come in a set of four and these had really good reviews on it. I think this actually was all recommended together along with the tea tree oil foot and nail silk. So this one has a blend of Epsom salt, sea salt, and MSS. It soaks away tired feet and foot odor, leaves nails looking clean and healthy. So this also had really, really great reviews on this. I thought I'd give it a shot. And I know every time I get a pedicure, um, there is like stuff that goes in the water before. So I'm assuming this is what goes with it. I'm going on, what am I doing? I'm going on a close to four months of no pedicure and it is looking a little busted down there So I need to help myself and then you already know a pedicure cannot be complete if you don't have the right tools So I did invest into this little tool set right here. It comes with the tools to push back your cuticles a cuticle clipper um, All kinds of different stuff in here So this is one that um, I thought had really really good stuff And then I did also purchase an entire pedicure machine This took a while to figure out which one was the best one based off reviews and pricing and actually adjust the temperature You can add red light bubbles, which if you guys don't know red light does help with inflammation Inflammation. It has a timer, it massages, along with this tea tree oil foot soak. And I feel like eventually through time, I might really enjoy this moment to myself. I remember growing up, my mom had one of these little machines and she would use it all the time and do her pedicures by herself and soak her feet in there because it felt really good. My mom is a nurse, so she is always on her feet, so I know she enjoys that downtime. And I feel like this is something that I might end up really enjoying myself. So I feel like this would be something good that I can do for myself. And then lastly, because I do use gel polish, I decided to purchase my very own UV light. I got this one on walmart.com and then again was influenced by another influencer on this purchase she actually had been using it for a while talked highly about it so i figured i'd give it a shot but yeah i'm pretty excited about this entire self-care pedicure manicure purchase i haven't had my nails done or pedicure done since quarantine let me know if you guys have any of these items and what you guys think about them um or anything that you think i definitely need because like i said i bought the whole set i'm about to start doing my own nails i'm about to start doing my own pedicures and i'm totally okay with it 
Um, I'm not someone that's too worried about my nails anyways like it is what it is these are my fingers you know but I'm excited to make them look pretty again so yeah that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of my home purchases that I have made along with a couple Amazon things I enjoy doing these kind of hauls because these are things outside of beauty that I am purchasing and I love sharing all this stuff with you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys want to see more videos like this be sure to let me know in the comments down below mucho. I love all of you guys so much I hope you guys are staying safe and I will see you guys in the next video Bye.